So, uh, yeah, I don't know how much got recorded and how much didn't, because, um, I was looking at my PSP screen instead of my computer screen, and it's all like, hey, I'm gonna make an F for you so you get all crazy and put all your hair, and I kinda did. Not really, because who'd rip out their hair, right? So we're crazy people, they're not crazy. Going to three, going in the caves, got a bunch of hot drinks. Don't you hate it? You go, you go on a quest, you're all ready, you got everything ready, and then you forget a hot drink. And you're like, shit. And then you ask everyone. Everyone's an asshole in this one, well, no, I shouldn't say that. Most people are nice, but some people are like, no, you can't have my hot drink. What if I die three times? And you'd be like, oh, well, you failed the quest. And you'd be like, no, not with me. I will be hex. I can die as many times as I want. I can still use all my hot drinks. And you're like, okay. And then. He just leave him to fight by himself, and then he's like, "Oh no, don't go!" And then, and yeah, you don't you don't know if he says that or not since you left already, right? And you go back to the lobby, and then uh, you go get a pancake or something. Oh, that was ch oh, that was not fair. You know, too bad you can't like throw your cat at the the weaver, and that'd be pretty cool. And then. It'd go all shadow on Colossus on its ass, just stab its, like, on the parts of its body. And then black blood comes out, and at the end, there's, like, a whole bunch of, uh, black tentacles come out, grab you, and turn into a, uh, I don't know, shadow thing. That was a good game. Shadow of the Colossus for the PS2. If you haven't played it, and you have a PS2, you should probably try it out. A really good game. Oh dear, I'm almost dead. Now oh, I know why. I haven't sharpened my sword yet. That's why it's taking me forever. Sharpen this shit up. Yeah. Better watch out. Rip you in half. You know, it's too bad you can't, like, rip off other limbs of the weaver and, like, its wings so it can't fly or its legs. So it's just kind of, you know, defenseless. And just kind of stands and or lays in one spot. And it can't do anything. And you're like, yay, and then kind of kill it. I don't know, it'd be kind of boring, I guess. But it would be more realistic. I guess it'd be more realistic if you get like hit once by the weave and you're practically dead. It bites your head off. Something. It brings you up in the air. You know, they, they should totally have like a, uh, I don't know, like a hook shotgun or pellet or something that, like, I don't know, there's like a hook on one end and then there's a long string and then you press, I don't know, certain combo buttons and then with all your teammates and you pull the weaver down from the sky. I don't know. I think that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. And if you don't agree with me, well, uh, I'd like to see your idea. I think we should have automatic guns too. That would be pretty cool. It would be pretty cheap. That's right. Yeah. I could kill a baby. Ha ha ha. My cat comes up. End of the game. Too bad he can't carve. Poor upside down four cat. Doesn't get to do anything. What is he doing? He's like taking a piss. Wow. Wow. Oh, I get to wave this time. Oh. Hello. Hello, world. I am Monster Hunter from. I don't know. From the Monster Hunter world. Haha. -ha. Look at me run away. Can't see me now. Provoke. Provoke. Despair. Oh. I won. But I lost. I lost my soul. When becoming a Monster Hunter. Ugh.